The best donuts in the world. Super easy and super fluffy too. I'm sure that anyone here can make this wonder. For this recipe, we'll need one egg and let's beat everything very well. Then I'm going to add half a cup of milk. If you prefer the written recipe, just comment down here, I want that I'll send you. Also guys, add one tablespoon of biological yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix everything again. Also gonna add two cups of flour. Mix everything with the spatula first, but then we're going to use our hands. But before kneading it, don't forget to add two tablespoons of butter. The dough has to be very smooth, so I'm going to knead it for five minutes. Look at our dough, guys. It's very smooth. It doesn't stick in our hands and let's let it rest for one hour. Our dough has already grown and look how fluffy it is. I'm going to put it on the counter and cut it into eight equal parts. And if you want bigger donuts, you just have to cut bigger pieces. Let's shape each one of these parts as you can see on the video. It is super simple and easy. I'm sure you're gonna love this recipe. Now, guys, I'm going to do the hole that all donuts have. You can use any tool you have in your house to help you do that. And then put it on the parchment paper and let's let it rest for 10 minutes. And after that, you just have to fry it. My oil is not very hot because if it is, it will fry too much on the outside and not cook on the inside. After frying on one side, you just have to turn it around to fry on the other side. After that, take it out of the frying pan and put on a paper towel to dry a little bit of the oil. And then guys, it's done to eat. You just have to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it and you can eat it already. But I prefer to use chocolate, so I melted chocolate and did it this way as you can see. And to give a special touch to it, I'm going to put a little bit of peanuts. You can put whatever you want for, okay? You can use your creativity. And look how beautiful it is, guys. I waited for the chocolate to dry a little bit and look how fluffy it is. This dough is incredible. It tastes so good. You can even eat just the dough because it's super delicious. And this was today's dish. I hope you liked this recipe.